Hey guys, what's up? It's Andrea. Welcome back to another vlog. And we are standing in complete disarray because it's not moving day, not yet, but it's movers day. Let's say that. So the Packers left and they left some boxes and some extra packing stuff behind, which is about to be helpful to me in a second, but they packed up everything and I'm just waiting for the movers to come to load everything up. So I have my mirror and stuff packed here, my TV in Darion's room, his mirror, his TV, and then Mia's TV. I have this freaking mattress sitting here because this is what I'm about to use this extra packing stuff for because, in their defense, I did tell them that I didn't want any of the mattresses packed because I'm not taking any of the mattresses. When I get to San Antonio, I want to buy new mattresses. But, um, yeah, they forgot to pack this one. I forgot to tell them that I wanted to take the babies, so. I have to try to pack that up. Um, the movers are gonna come and move my giant TV and my TV stand and everything, like all the main stuff is really in the garage. This is my garage. Welcome to my garage. This is my garage. It's kind of in disarray right now as well. So these are the boxes and stuff that they just came and packed up they still need to pack this up they got all these toys over here and i had a bunch of knickknacks and stuff sitting over here let's go come on come on let's go outside let's go come on yeah let me sit outside with coco for a little bit i was sitting out here a little earlier Super nice out, it's so nice. Such a nice break from all this rain we've been having these past few days. So I still have to get my car weighed. So that means I have to go out somewhere. I'm not sure where it is, I have to check again. I have to go get my car weighed empty and then I have to come back, put everything that I'm taking in my car to San Antonio in there, go back out there and weigh it full so I can get the weight ticket, so yeah got to do those things I have to go to Darion school so I can get like a library book pay his um, lunch fees and stuff like that before we leave and also I have to go to my unit because I'm trying to figure out where my PCS award is I'm still waiting for the movers to come I was told that they should be here about 11 so it's only nine minutes after so it's not too far behind so yeah I'm about to sit here and just wait for my phone call I guess the movers just got here they pulled up the truck and they're getting everything from the garage and putting it into the truck now before they move on into the house and let me tell you I am tired I'm so tired I'm hungry I want some food I just need to to sleep I don't know oh, man hopefully it won't be too much longer they'll be done that way I can move on and do everything else that I have to do because I still have to go up to my son's school I'm still supposed to be trying to get my car weighed and stuff like that and there's still like a few other things I have to do here around the house so I'm just trying to make sure I get everything done before I have to go and pick the kids up. I don't know about the car though. I don't know how to go about getting it weighed. I have to get it weighed empty, then get it weighed full. So that means I have to drive 30 minutes out there to weigh my car empty, just to drive 30 minutes back, just to pack everything up and drive 30 minutes back out there, just to drive 30 minutes back here. It's like, I just hope they're open. You know what, let me do that. I'm about to call them and hopefully, they are open tomorrow because if they're open tomorrow, then that's one less thing I have to deal with being on my plate for today because my day, I don't know. So hours later, we're almost finished with the last of the stuff being moved out. Honestly, I think there's a few more things outside in this mattress for Amia's bed. It's the last thing that has to go. This house is a mess now. I'm not taking my mattresses and stuff like that. Turn off these lights. My son's room. All of the toys and stuff that I have to throw away because he's not taking and as well as Mia's room. Stuff that I'm not taking, so. So I'm still super tired. I'm about to, actually, they're so close to being done. I'm about to go ahead and put my Postmates order in because I want some Panda Express. It is $14.54. So I have three hours before I have to have the kids picked up. I see them. You see him? Mm hmm Okay. On the wall. On the wall? What's on the wall? On the wall. Is it a bug? Uh-huh. 
Oh, okay, don't touch it. So all of this stuff I have to repack because I'm starting to load up the car. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this stuff out of the way so I can go and load it up. I ordered Panda Express. And no, I'm not gonna do a room, hotel room tour because honestly, this is <laughs> this is the room. It's super pretty and it's just super open wide. I've never seen a hotel room this big, so. are defeated, purpose always fleeting I poise questions to the ceiling like an answer gonna come Truth is too revealing, life is easier concealing All emotions to the start on your heart going numb I shouldn't be in drive more, I just wanna feel alive more I feel hurt all the time, boy, I can't see straight I've been running on the freeway Till I get blinded by the headlights They go past me, I see the last me That I ever will be, that got me asking Living this lightning that been the right thing Or should I been a little bit more focused on the place that my feet needed to go And as they go past me, I see the last me that I ever will be And that got me asking if living this lightly Has that been the right thing Or should I been more focused on where feet wanted to go If I die right now, I'd lie, I'd have a few regrets I just spent more time out biking instead of smoking cigarettes Hey guys, what's up? It's Andrew. Welcome back to another vlog. Well, I guess better yet, an update on my move. So right now we are in Baton Rouge and I did not record anything between when I left to get my car weighed up into this point because anything in between was just complete chaos. It was a mess and it was stressful. So I wasn't recording, but what I did was I had left from my house and I went to Jacksonville because that's where I had to pick my sister up from the airport because again, my little sister Angel is moving with me to Texas thank god and from there you know we just chilled out in the hotel room there because i wasn't i just really wasn't in the mood to drive so that next morning we got up and we drove here to baton rouge which was like an eight hour drive y'all that drive was brutal it was super long i just didn't understand it and we drove straight through and we only stopped to get gas like once i think we stopped like once and i didn't book my hotel room in advance i waited until i got here and then i started searching for hotels and we were doing we was doing that for like a good 30 minutes i won't even lie i was super irritated tired just so over driving at that point so i actually tried to record this update last night but as you all know i get migraines and when i get my migraines my go-to medication has been my excedrin i just last night came to the conclusion that it's my excedrin that has been making me sick and let me know if anybody else has had issues with this but Every time I get a migraine, like as soon as I feel it coming, I um, I have to take something ASAP. Like I actually have a medication. It's Maxol on the pack that I use. And so when I'm, when I'm getting a migraine, that's what I use. But if I run out, I'm using Excedrin. So for years, I've been using Excedrin. And lately, every time I take it, I would get this horrible horrible stomach ache so i started associating my stomach say my stomach aches with my migraines so i'm like oh maybe if i when i get migraines i just get stomach aches because my migraines also make me like nosh nauseous and stuff too y'all i took that pill and my stomach was 
on fire like i won't lie tmi i was back and forth in the bathroom it was crazy but i noticed every single time i take my etc for the well the past the past few months it's been happening so i'm like okay now i need to figure out what i'm going to take now to get rid of my migraines and again we have about a seven to eight hour drive ahead of us so i don't know what i can use just in the event i get a headache i think i have like one emergency like migraine pill right now so we'll see if that lasts so right now we're just done we're ready we're about to leave and get breakfast we didn't even check to see what we're eating breakfast at that's because you didn't want to pay for the expensive they want darion wants to eat hotel food and i'm not paying for this expensive hotel food but yeah we're about to go ahead and go get the car situated so we can go boxes are defeated purpose always fleeting i poise questions to the ceiling like an answer gonna come truth is too revealing life is easier concealing all emotions to the star on your heart going numb it shouldn't be in drive more I just want to feel alive more I feel hurt all the time, boy I can't see straight I've been running on the freeway Till I get blinded by the headlights They go past me I see the last me That I ever will be And that got me asking If living this lightly Has that been the right thing? Or should I been a little bit more focused on the place That my feet needed to go And as they go past me I see the last me That I ever will be And that got me asking If living this lightly been the right thing, or should I be more focused on where feet wanted to go? If I die right now, I'd lie, I'd have a few regrets. We just spent more time on biking instead of smoking cigarettes. Wish I worked more on music instead of alternating steps.